growing up, you know, there's a lot of things that I heard that I would need to do in order to be successful at life. But nowadays, it's like all of that just gone through the window. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. As you all know, I'm Jamie. You now I've been gone for a little while, but we're back now. If you're new, please subscribe, turn on your post notification so that way you won't miss any new video once I drop them. You can connect with me now. I'm on social media. I'm on Instagram at JA Radcliffe or Twitter at JA Radcliffe 2030. So today, I'm going to talk about a couple of things that I heard while growing up that I basically would need to do to ensure that I was successful in life. So basically, the career path that I would need to take, what I would need to do, how I would need to manage my money and so on. The first thing I will start in school is that I need to go to school, get a good education to ensure that I can grow up graduate and get a good job right now all of that pretty much done with if we look at some of the richest people in the world look at bill gates or steve job for example the money drop out of university yet all of them are multi-billionaires no don't get me wrong this is not to say you don't need to go to school this is far from it i believe that people need to go to school in order to learn at least the core values that they need to possess they need to go to school in order to also understand how to socialize because i have a light enough people even though they go to school they kind of lacking intellectually when they check out the maths right now why i say you can actually make it without school is that look at youtube for example if you have a big enough following with a lot of persons watching your videos and so on you can make a living and a lot of persons make a pretty decent living from YouTube. Just don't look at school as a be all and end all. And whatever you go to school for, let's say you go to school for accounting, computing, don't shut yourself into a box based on what you study. A lot of people out there right now go to school, study for example computing and doing a lot of things in different industries such as business and whatever. Look at Lee Chin, one of the richest man in Jamaica. That man went to school for engineering. Yet, all of him money make out of investing and business. Next thing, when I was young, people always used to say to me, Boy, you're a smart young boy. You know? What it is that you want to be when you grow up? Now, when I have a light, you know, I'm a little naivete at the time. The first thing come out of my mouth, you know, I want to be a doctor when I grow up. It was when I went to high school you know, that I noticed, listen boy, Jamie, you know, really had the skills for the sciences in our life, you know, so you have to go find a different career path or whatever the case may be at the time. Now, while in those days, becoming a lawyer or a doctor were the glamorous jobs at the time, nobody really and truly exposed you to entrepreneurship. For me personally, the closest I came to an entrepreneur in a them time was my local shopkeeper. But me not really see what it is that she doing as nothing glamorous or me not see myself growing up as a shopkeeper at the time. But now when you look into it, you know, a lot of these shopkeepers, if them have the whole business savvy, you know, they make money. Right now, entrepreneurship is the real. So everybody wants to be your own boss, call their own shots and just be whoever they want to be. And to be honest, the possibilities now more than ever, they are endless. Especially with social media, you can get up tomorrow and decide, say, you know, some other start selling some shoes online. You build up an Instagram page and you start blasting to everybody where you know. So it's not like one time in the brick and mortar days where you're going to need a whole heap of capital behind you to push your business. Pretty much you just need social media right now to do everything. Saving is key. I'm sure everybody hear this when they grow up. Because we always had the banks coming into our schools you know, and telling us that, hey, you need to start saving. Let's open a bank account for you and this and that. To be honest, by the time me reach grade 6, me have about four different bank accounts. Mark, you know, me not really understand what the bank account was used for. I mean, I have an idea, but me take it as a sport. Every time them come, me open my next one. And right now, a couple of them close the institution and take the money because I couldn't really keep up with all that at my young age. Now, while I have no issues with savings, you know, I believe if the bank had spent more time educating me about investing and telling me, say, yo, if you save, you can then do this and do that, we probably would have saved more at the time. In the 90s, you know, Jamaica had one of the highest interest rates ever. Wait, I think one of the time interest rate was over 40%. Because in those times, not even the stock market people are really dip on. 
people prefer to buy bonds because they get better returns from their money by buying government debt. But all the bank really care about at that time is getting my little two cents where them can tack on, lend somebody or buy some government debt, make some interest and make the banks fatter at that time. Now, is when I get older now, I have to now go out and seek out all of this information to know that there are better options than just putting my money into the bank or put it into a fixed deposit like what our parents used to do, which truth and fact not really make no whole of money. So it's just as they get older you get a little bit wiser because in my opinion, you know, savings account not really make no sense you no, know, but that is just my opinion. You might have a different aspect or you might have different experiences as it relates to savings accounts. Last thing when I always remember people have said to me when me young, investing of rich people. Now, all of us here know say yo, this is the furthest thing from the truth. The only thing you need to know when you start to invest, just do it with money where you can't lose. Now take your rent, go invest. And then if you lose it, you're in a predicament. For me still, me could have start invest long before when I actually start because at the time when me did want to start invest, I remember calling up some brokers and the cheapest one for me was 200000 So this broker tell me, say, hey, yeah man, yeah, I'm just bring in 200000 come and open the account and we can start to invest in 200000 For me at that time, they were 200000 a whole heap of money like, it's a big hell you want to tell me for a client. Because I am making about 65000 at that time after tax. Now, if I'm pay my rent, buy a gas put in on my car, I buy some food and all of that. If I can find one ten grand, that's good. So for me to save all of my ten grand then for each up to 200000 it had taken me roughly two years, almost two years, for reach 200000 so I can start invest. And because of this, it's like me I say, yo, no, I'm just, I'm just leave it alone and just try to do what I can over here so while I can. And it just pretty much brought my vibes. So because of that, it took me two additional years to start invest. Granted, I still never did I save the 10 grand them every year to try to reach the 200,000 to start invest. And after the two years, I eventually find a broker where I do some more research who willing to take my little bit of money has helped me start investing. Now, while my options may have been limited to mainly stocks, at least me have a way to start. And by buying more and more stocks, me have a way to accumulate more funds so me can think about different type of investments. Thanks for watching guys. These are just a couple of the myths that I pretty much remember while growing up as it relates to money and the path that I should take in career investing and all of that. Drop a couple of the ones that you know are you were exposed to growing up. Let me see what I go on in the comments down below. Now if you like the video, just go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, please subscribe and turn on your post notification as well. And until next week, people. Bye-bye.